Well, hello, hello, hello. Much love to you all. May God bless you all. Hit that like button. This is day seven of our first fruits to the Lord. So we're going to read Psalm 7, 57, and 107. Hit that like button. O Lord my God, in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me. Lest he tear my soul like a lion, rending it in pieces. While there is none to deliver, O Lord my God, if I have done this, if there be iniquity in my hands, if I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me, yea, I have delivered him that without cause is mine enemy. Let the enemy persecute my soul and take it, yea, let him tread down my life upon the earth and lay mine honor in the dust, Salah. Arise, O Lord, in thine anger, lift up thyself because of the rage of mine enemies, and awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people compass thee about for their sakes, therefore return thou on high. The Lord shall judge the people, judge me, O Lord, according to thy righteousness, and according to mine integrity that is in me. O oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just. For the righteous God trieth the hearts and reigns. My defense is of God, which saveth the upright in heart. God judgeth the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will wet his sword. He hath bent his bow and made it ready. He hath also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordaineth his arrows against the persecutors. Behold, he travaileth with iniquity, and hath conceived mischief, and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit and digged it, and is fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come upon his own pate. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness. I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Hallelujah. Psalm 57. It says, <clears throat> Be merciful unto me, O God, be merciful unto me. For my soul trusteth in thee, yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. I will cry unto God most high, unto God that performeth all things for me. He shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up, Salah. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. My soul is among lions, and I lie even among them that are set on fire, even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They have digged a pit before me in the midst whereof they are fallen themselves. Salah. My heart is fixed, O God. My heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Awake up, my glory. Awake, psalm tree and harp. I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations, for thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Psalm 107 O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. And gather them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wander in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation. 
Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfieth the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness, such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because they rebelled against the words of God and contempted the counsel of the Most High. Therefore he brought down their heart with labor, they fell down, and there was none to help. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of the darkness and the shadow of death, and break their bands in sunder. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he hath broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Fools! because of their transgression, and because of their iniquities are afflicted. The soul arboreth all manner of meat, and they draw near unto the gates of death. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saveth them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. They that go down to the sea in ships that do business in great waters, this or these see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For he commandeth and raiseth the stormy wind, which lifteth up the waves thereof. They mount up to the heaven. They go down again to the depths. Their soul is melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken, dr drunken man and are at their wits end. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he bringeth them out of their distresses. He maketh the storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are still. Then are they glad, because they be quiet. So he bringeth them unto their desired haven. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turneth rivers into a wilderness and the water springs into dry ground, a fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. He turneth the wilderness into a standing water and a dry ground into water springs. And there he maketh the hungry to dwell, that they may prepare a city for habitation. And sow the fields and plant vineyards, which may yield fruits of increase. He blesseth them also, so that they are multiplied greatly, and suffereth not their cattle to decrease. Again, they are minished and brought low through oppression, affliction, and sorrow. He poureth contempt upon princes and causeth them to wander in the wilderness. Or wander in the wilderness where there is no way. Yet setteth he the poor on high from affliction and maketh him families like a flock. The righteous shall see it and rejoice. And all iniquity shall stop her mouth. Whoso is wise and will exert these things, even they shall understand the loving kindness of the Lord. Much love, and may God bless you.